What's up, YouTube? And what's that on my shirt? Um, I want to show you this video, talk about this first day at UPS. Uh, getting a few comments here and there about uh, the process. Somebody asked me, um, did I have an interview to get hired? I'm looking at myself. I'm like, tired. I got up about an hour ago. It's 7.30 in the morning. I got up about 6.30 because uh, I had to work. The shift is from 5 to 11 at night. The one I signed up for. It's called Twilight. The Twilight Shift. I picked that one. It gave me four choices. I picked that one because I have a day job as well. Because UPS is part-time. So you're only going to be there 25 to 30 hours a week. Monday through Friday. Weekends off. It's not peak. It's not busy right now. So it's busy. But steady, steadily busy, not like crazy busy. Now, come holidays, it's going to get crazy busy. We'll probably end up doing more hours and coming in on our days off. Um, so anyway, day one, it's training. The whole week is training. This whole week, the first week, day one was orientation. You get a tour of the facility. The facility is really new where I'm at. It's only two years old. They just built it two years ago. So it's brand new. A lot of state-of-the-art stuff. Um, we load trucks, unload trucks. Um, I'm a package handler. California starts their package handlers off at fourteen fifty an hour. Um, after 30 days, I think you're completely vested in the union because you have to give them $200 to join. You sign up for it. You're a teamster. So now I'm a teamster. Um, it's a good union, I guess. You get union benefits. And then after... 70 days is the probationary period. You're a probationary employee for the first 70 days. That's the period where, you know, be on time, don't be late, work hard, don't call off sick. And after 70 days, you pass probation and you're good and you're protected by the union and they can't let you go. Um, you should still keep that attitude, be on time and work hard after the probationary period. Don't be one of those guys that just is cool for 70 days and then you're not cool you're not a hard worker so be a hard worker don't work hard to the point of exhaustion just work steadily because you have a package per hour pph that they want you to kind of maintain you can do it <clears throat> it's just a matter of working at a smooth steady pace and bring you can bring water so this is a big water jug and they have water stations and ice stations you can fill up so typically I think this is two liters in one one four and a half to five hour shift i'll probably drink three or four of these maybe five and um you want to drink water before you get to work so it's 7 30 in the morning i'm drinking water already conditioning my body for tonight and then gatorade is good too because you need the electrolytes um magnesium zinc uh those natural sugars, we, we need that salt, sodium. You're sweating, you're in a hot trailer, but the twilight shift from my time is five to 11. It's a lot cooler inside the trailer. During the day, I don't know how those guys do it because it's 120 degrees in the trailer and they're unloading in there for an hour and a half at a time. You should unload a trailer in about an hour to an hour and 20 minutes and load a trailer in about that time frame too, hour to an hour and 20 minutes. Um, and it's hot. And then you go to the next trailer and do it again. And you do about three or four trailers per shift. And then you go home. So if you can knock, if you can bang out four trailers, that's about four hours. Your shift is almost over. You get 10 minute breaks. And if it gets really, really hot in there, you could take breaks, go get water, go to the bathroom, stuff like that. But you just got to keep maintaining a pace. Do your best. It's not that hard. It's physical. You lose weight. Um, it's one of those manual labor jobs that you start like like entry level but the benefits are good because it's ups they've been around since 1907 the training is professional you know they show you videos how to lift stuff so you don't get hurt um everything is certification so whatever you operate whatever machine you operate you've been certified on it you're not going to just randomly operate something you haven't been certified on um, how it works is basically after six months of working there, you can start applying for positions that are available, like being a driver, 
you know, driving the, the big brown trucks and delivering. So you could be a delivery driver. Uh, you could drive, you could move the trailers around outside in the yard, the empty and full trailers is a guy that does that. He picks it up with this special t type of vehicle and it's, that's a raise. You get like, you know, six or $7 more an hour. Um, so from 1450, you'll go to like 21 or 22 an hour because you get a significant raise. And you'll work about seven hours out there uh, per shift, six to seven hours, moving trailers around. So uh, it's a, I think it's a part-time position, but you're going to get like 32 hours and you're making like $20 an hour. So it's pretty good. 20, 21, it's a significant amount of more money than just being a package handler. So and you can apply for that after six months and they will train you and certify you. So everything is based upon being certified and trained. Um, what else? So 70 days past your probation, six months, you can start applying to be a driver or supervisor. Yeah. Even a supervisor after six months, supervisors, how it works is the supervisors are also part-time and, um, they get 25 bucks an hour. Once you become a supervisor though, you are no longer in the union. You're not a union employee. You're an at will employee. You can be fired. They are basically there to help you or to tell you to work faster, all that stuff, and keep the stuff that you do safe. They're basically trying to get productivity to stay high safely. That's their main job. Keep productivity high. Make sure that the employees are safe. That's what the supervisors do. And um, But they are not union. Don't be fooled by that. If you pick up, If you decide to go supervisor route... You are no longer a union employee. I'm a union employee because I'm a package handler. The drivers are union employees. Um, so if you operate a vehicle at UPS or you are a package handler, you're a Teamster union. You have union protections. If you're a package handler, you get an annual raise every year of $1. So for every year. So if you're there three years, you started at fourteen fifty. Three years later, 15, 16, 17. You're at seventeen fifty. Um, if you're there four years and you're still a package handler, you're at 1850. You see how it works? Every year you get a dollar more. So if you're waiting to become a driver and it takes two years, you've gotten two dollar raises for that. Uh, you're protected by the union, and so you're cool and you get you get a raise every year, a dollar, a dollar, a dollar. Also, your medical benefits in California, anyways, I don't know how it works in other states, kick in after nine months of being a, a part-time employee. You get medical, dental, and vision. As a part-time employee, you get full coverage on medical, dental, and vision. There's not a lot of companies that, that offer such a great benefits package as UPS, especially if you're a part-time employee. So that's one of the reasons why people are attracted to the company to be a UPS uh, employee, package handler, or driver, or whatever, is the great benefits. Their medical, dental, and vision is excellent. It's very good. One of the best you'll get. It's like police departments, fire departments, DWP, um, UPS. Those are the higher levels of medical and dental and vision insurance. Um, other than that, maybe if you're a state employee, like state state employees or city local city employees, like that. So you're in a really high class of protections, medical coverage, and stuff like that. Then you can also do AFLAC. You can do all these other things. Um, another benefit is that if you ever shop at Skechers, the store, UPS employees get 30% discount on, uh, some of their items. I think like they have, you have a big selection, like safety shoes and different kinds of shoes, Skechers, you just show your UPS ID and they're gonna be like, okay, 30% off. So that's pretty cool. Well, also let's see what else. So uh, the training is all this week. It's pretty chill. The training's chill. They're going to show us everything they've been. You have to stretch. They give us exercises to do. Um, they tell you to drink water, of course. But that's something, as a Marine, I'm already used to that. In the Marine Corps, you get told to drink water, and they teach you drink water because it keeps you hydrated. You don't want to pass out out there. It's hot. You're working in 29 Palms or Okinawa, Japan or Camp Pendleton or Quantico, Virginia or wherever you're stationed at. It's going to be hot. You're going to be walking 15 and 20 mile hikes with your 
pack and rifle and helmet and flak jacket and gas mask and carrying ammunition and carrying water, you could pass out. So, you could become a heat casualty. Drink water. Drink a lot of water. All right, um, what else do I know about this place? You get study guides. Here's the study guide. And it's got all the different things that you have to memorize that like you can be tested on. They're going to question you about it. We have, we have a quiz on Wednesday. It's like being in school. But then the supervisors out in the field could ask you, do you know your, uh, it's called DOK, which is um, depth of knowledge. What's, what's your depth of knowledge, which is memorizing stuff uh, that they, the uh, philosophies and procedures uh, at UPS for certain safety things. Your depth of knowledge should be at the level that they, whatever's on this paper. Um, it's a good company. Good benefits. It's easy. It was easy to get hired. The hiring process was very simple. Uh, somebody asked, "Do they drug test you?" Not so far. Not where I'm at. But I think the drivers before they get uh, assigned to drive, they have to mandatorily go through Department of Transportation drug testing, uh, and they take a physical. We didn't get a physical. The drivers will take a medical physical and uh, make sure that they're. Uh, healthy enough to drive the operated vehicle on the road and they have to part of that physical is a uh, you know a bend test make sure you can bend over stand up getting in getting in and out of the truck safely they go through a, a whole like week or two of training uh driving the trucks before they get their certification everything is certifications there um so th those guys get drug tested if you're going to operate any vehicle at ups you're going to get drug tested as far as package handlers, no, it didn't. They didn't drug test us. They didn't give us a physical. So that, to answer that question, somebody asked. Uh, I'm not saying you shouldn't do drugs. Don't do it. But they did not drug test us. They should, but they didn't. Um, the trainer was telling us that he goes, I train people. That's what I do. The supervisor that trains people. He goes, that's what I do. He goes, I'll train seven or eight people. He goes, and in two to three weeks. I'll have two or three people left because there's a high turnover rate because it's physical labor, it's hard work, it's not easy. Um, it's one of those manual labor jobs like working at FedEx or Amazon or digging ditches for a construction company. It's entry level. This is what it's, what it's like. You start somewhere. Uh, my goal is to become a driver. Right now that there's a, uh, a turnover, a turnaround for drivers where you can start as a package handler like I did and be a driver in about a year because after nine months, your medical kicks in. Uh, you could apply for driver's positions after six months and it's seniority based. So you'll be in the queue for it after six months. I'll apply after nine months. I'll get my medical and dental and vision benefits. And then maybe if I'm lucky in about a year, I should be able to drive. So you got to kind of suffer for a year, deal with huffling, shuffling packages and doing all that good stuff for about a year. And then, you get uh, driver's training. After the driver's training, you'll get uh, cover routes where you're covering drivers who are on vacation, who uh, are gone for three weeks, four weeks. So you'll cover his route. You'll learn that route, and then you'll cover another guy's route. So as a cover driver, you're still getting a higher pay rate. rate. You're going to be somewhere in the neighborhood of $28 an hour like that, and you're going to work full-time. You'll work the shift, which is 9, 10, 11 hours a day. That's a typical driver's route because you're going to be delivering over 200 packages a day. And if it takes nine or 10 hours, it takes nine or 10 hours. If you can get it done in eight hours, you can get it done in eight hours. But typically a driver is going to work nine or 10 hours by the time they're getting back to the hub to turn in the truck, get their stuff and go home and then be back the next day. You're looking at nine or 10 hour days, five days a week, and sometimes working on your day off if you want to. That's why... Drivers at UPS are known to make $130,000 a year because they can work six days a week and work. And if you're working 10 hours a day, which is a typical day at, you know, a lot of those drivers are making 35 bucks an hour. You know, I think they start the drivers as if you're a cover driver, it starts about 28 an hour. So you're making more hourly than the supervisors. Supervisors make 25 and they're, that's it. So if you want to go to the management route, you're kind of fixed at a certain pay scale and they're part-time. Um, 
some of the managers are full time. That's like one. There's like one full time manager per shift, and the rest are all part time supervisors. And the supervisors, they're stressed out. They don't look like they're having a good time. They're under a lot of pressure. And they're only getting 25 an hour, and they're only working five and a half, six hours a day. And you're not union, and you can't drive. You can't go from supervisor to driver. If you're a UPS supervisor, you're no longer union. The drivers are union, the package handlers are union. So if you want to go the driver's route, stay as a package handler, turn in your uh, request to become one after six months. It'll sit there until there's an opening and a seniority based, and it'll get to you eventually. And just be on time. Work hard. Don't call off sick a lot. And um, unless you're really sick, you know, you get five sick paid, five paid sick days a year. But that doesn't kick in until after a year, something like that. I don't remember exactly. But you get a hiring packet. They email it to you. You can download it and print it. Uh, there's You get a, a memorandum, memorandum of understanding booklet from the union. There's a shop steward there ask him questions there's union meetings you can go to those meetings you should go to those meetings and i think they have them once a month and they cover all the stuff that you might want to learn about ups um that's really it it's it's kind of basic you apply go to ups jobs ups dot is ups jobs dot com forward slash careers or drop drop down to careers apply for package handler they're, they hire two to three times a year. They're doing some hiring right now. It's July. The next time they hire is probably going to be October or September for the uh, getting ready for the peak season, the holidays. You know, November, December, it's busy. And expect to work um, seven or eight hour shifts. And if you want, come in on your day off. It's up to you. But in other words, you can, it's, it's almost like even though it's a part-time position, during the uh holiday season november and december you can make it a full-time position and um you'll make more money because you're working seven or eight hours uh again it's not that much money 1450 but again if it's part-time for you like it is for me it's cool because then during the day i can work at my other job making 18 an hour and um that fills in the gap but for me, it works because I like the hours, 5 to 11, go home, go to sleep, and get well rested. I wake, I woke up at 6.30 this morning, feel fine. I'm, I got some, you know, bags in my eyes, but I feel fine. I'm well rested. I'm home by 11.15 and boom, wake up, go to, go, to, go to my other job, of which I'm off today. But uh, that's why I want to do this video. So the questions were about... Do they drug test? Uh, how how was the hiring process? It's easy. Um, there was a hiring event, so I got invited to the hiring event because I had applied a while back, and so I went. And like the whole process of getting hired took me like ten days before I started my first day at work. It was like a ten day from the start from the time they said we're having the hiring event to the time I started my first day was ten days, and. Uh, First day, of course, is orientation and some training and videos and taking notes, processing your ID. You're, you have to bring two forms of ID, like social security card and driver's license or something. And, uh, you know, if you're not a citizen, green card or passports and green cards and permanent residency works. And a California driver's license, so you need two forms of ID. There's a list. They'll tell you what's acceptable. All right. And uh, I think that's it. Main thing is drink a lot of water, drink Gatorade, drink water, bring water with you. You can bring water with you. Get a big one like this that you can carry with you with a handle on it and just carry it with you at work, at your station, wherever you're at, and just drink water while you're working constantly because you're sweating, you're inside of a hot trailer, it gets hot, you have to stay hydrated, otherwise you're gonna get heat cramps, muscle cramps, or you can get dizzy or you can pass out. You don't want to do that because people do pass out there and they fall and they hit their heads, all kinds of stuff. So drink water. Try not to stay in the trailers for more than an hour. If you're done with that trailer, get out, take a five minute breather, get some fresh air, turn the fans on, of course. There's fans. And just work at a slow, not slow, but at a steady pace. You can hit that goal of whatever that package uh, per hour. They're like, say you have to do 500 packages an hour. You can do it 
<clears throat> just get into a rhythm and and that's way that way you're not like wearing yourself out like uh, uh, and you know it's hard man it's physical labor it's there's nothing wrong with it. it's like most of the guys in the trailers are guys and then there's girls doing sorting i'm not saying anything against women but 90 percent of the people there that were in the trailers were guys and there's a lot of women that work for ups a lot of women men that work for ups but because it's physical labor and it's a lot of high stuff you're building a wall i'm six feet tall and um it takes a lot of upper body strength and stuff it's mostly men in there it's just the way it is it's not a sexist thing it's just the way it is most of the men are doing the, the harder physical stuff and the women are doing the sorting and all that and but there are women that do sort there's some women out there that are hardcore that are like stronger than the dudes and they'll they'll get in there and kick some ass but generally speaking 90 percent of the time it's men and even the men quit it's not easy so some of the men don't hang and they give up on this place i i would su suggest stick it out just for the medical benefits the fact that you get a raise every year um vacation you have paid time off sick sick leave and the potential to be a supervisor which i don't want to do or a driver which i do want to do so there's all these different avenues you can go there's other positions there too. There's like different types of management or HR, human resources. There's a lot of stuff you can do at UPS. There's like 17 or 18 different types of uh, opportunities, job opportunities there. So don't get stuck into just one area if, unless you like it. If you like being a package handler, then stay there. <laughs> I like being a package handler, but I don't want to stay there forever. I want to, you know, get into driving. So that's my goal. That's why I got hired at UPS. Um, if you have any more specific questions about how it is there, like I said, my facility is pretty brand new. It's only two years old, so everything is still spanking new, runs really smoothly. The people that work there all are all new employees. They've only been there for two years or something like that. So it's, it's cool in that way. It's got some newness to it. And you just go to work every day and do your best. It's five days a week, Monday through Friday. Um, again, you got to look at the long the bigger picture don't think short term you know because then it's just going to burn you out think like hey man this is going to be good for my medical for my kids if you have kids if you have a wife if you you know family you can put your family on the on your medical it's really beneficial for that dental and that vision and that medical after nine months you get all that stuff the union is cool you know that's you got to pay the union dues that would whatever um i don't know i can't think of anything else but do I like it? Yeah, so far I do. Is it hard? Somewhat. It's not. I'm, there's no lie. It's not for everybody. It's physical. You're sweating. I'm. I'm used to it from the military. Um, doesn't make it easier. Some days are. Some days you're probably not going to feel like it. You know, you're tired or you're sore, and you've got to go to work and do physical labor. It's not easy. Some days are going to be tough. Um, but you don't have to be there forever just do it for a year and become a driver or be a supervisor or go to human resources or be a sorter there's other ways to go just get in the door get in if you're a package handler it's a great way to start with that place because you're you're paying your dues you're earning your way through you're gaining self-respect you're losing weight for sure because you're working out you go to work and you sweat and you lose weight and you're drinking a lot of water which is good for you so there's health benefits that way. <laughs> you're getting moving and grooving, and it's good for your body to get moving and grooving. So all right, any questions, let me know. Yeah, so I like it. I'm a new UPS package handler. It's new. It's a new position for me. I have something I always wanted to do. Glad I got in, honestly, because I could see that there's a chance, a really good opportunity to become a driver in about a year, and that's really what I want to do because looks like a cool job the driving the drivers are out there in the field driving around dropping off packages and they're hustling and it's pretty cool i think that's a pretty cool gig so that's where i'm at hopefully you guys have comments if you do tell me what you think or if you're interested uh, ups.com slash careers go there they're hiring right now if you're in southern california i don't know about nationwide um, i told you about the benefits i told you about the hourly wage i told you about the probation I told you about uh, the medical and dental benefits kicking in at nine months and uh, the supervisor's positions. There were some supervisors that were training there yesterday. 
they're all brand new supervisors and they take the supervisor training is three weeks and they're part time. They're all, all the supervisors are part time except for that one full timer per shift. So I don't know what else you want to know, but go UPS, man. It's an option. It's a different option. If it's not for you, you'll figure it out really quickly. You'll be like, ooh, this, this is rough because it is. <laughs> it's not easy. All right. So that's all I got. Thanks for watching. Ask questions and uh, let me know what you think. Where do you live? I'm in like Southern California area. So there's hubs in Ontario, Palm Springs, L.A., um, La Mirada. Um, uh, what else? Cerritos. There's hubs everywhere. So I think they're mostly all hiring right now. So give it a shot. All right. Staff's like, hold on out.